Hi everyone, today um, I'm going to show you uh, what I just bought for the uh, Ram 1500, uh, the, the uh, 20, uh, 2019 Ram 1500. Uh, I bought a new Hellwig uh, tow uh, sway bar. Uh, let me show you, it comes in this box right here. Okay, Hellwig uh, tow and haul load and sway bar control. Um, I read on on YouTube that uh, this thing really helps on the handling and uh, so I went ahead and, and got one. Um, I'm gonna open up the box and and show you what what's inside okay. Um, they, they came pretty well packaged um, so all around they had these uh, copper uh, staples and I want to make sure that nothing falls out I guess. So it was staples all the way around. Okay, let's open it up. See what's inside. So it's packaged pretty really well, that way it doesn't move. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so from what I read and saw, and saw um, that this bar is solid, solid steel instead of um, hollow um, like our original on the uh, OEM on the RAM. It's pretty heavy, definitely heavy. And once I take it off, I can show you what it looks like and what it sounds like um, and, uh, and compare the two. So inside the inside the box, there should be some hardware. Should be some hardware. And like I said, they, they pack this thing pretty well. I guess they don't want anything to happen to it. Um, but I don't know what could happen to this big old heavy bar. <laughs> Probably not much that can beat it up. So. Sticker. Okay. Uh, two new bushings. The bracket that goes around the bushing. And and there's some, some new uh, threaded. Um, screws. Some people use them. Some people uh, use the original ones. So I have to take a look and see. Okay, so um, just instructions on how to do it. It looks pretty simple. All right. All right. So I want to see how much this thing weighs. Uh, people say it weighs about. Um, People say it weighs about 12 pounds, so let's take a look and see. Okay. All right, let me hold the camera. All right, so pick this thing up. Oh my goodness. It is pretty, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so let me tap it. Zero it out. Put this thing on it. You can see. Hmm. Uh oh. Let's right, tap it. It's eleven pounds, roughly. Okay. Oh shoot! So it says about eleven pounds. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. All right, so it says about 11 pounds, which some people say 11.6. Um, 11.6 or so. Anyways, uh, it's gonna be around that, that, that weight, much higher than the original uh, OEM, so. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna um, paint this red. So that will, will show in the back, but it comes in like silver, silver pretty much. It's silver and it's kind of shiny. Uh, looks like it's, uh, looks like it's um, uh, really well uh, built and painted. Uh, I'm gonna rub it up and then uh, scratch it up. Uh, sand it down and paint it red before I install it. All right, we'll see you when I'm out there trying to paint it. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Um, so what I'm doing now is just uh, roughing up the the bar with um, some um, sandpaper. So uh, all I'm doing is just roughing it up so the paint will stick to it because it has this gloss, glossy paint over over the, um, it just looks like a, you know. So I'm just gonna rough it up. I already did some already, so I'm just finishing up here. All right. Make sure you clean it really well with uh, some sandpaper. Ah. Puppy. Puppy. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Make sure. So that way, um, that way you're, you're, you're making the surface nice and clean for that for that paint to, to stick onto, especially after you, you sand it and and uh, get all the residue off. I mean, even with the even with the the uh, oil in your hand will will make it not stick as well so I'll just hold it on the bottom clean it really well okay. now I'm gonna have to set it up to where I can um, paint most of it without uh, touching any any surface so let me find a way to set it up and, uh, and I'll be right back. Hey, you wanna help? Uh -huh. You wanna help? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it. Um, you can use any acrylic paint. Um, I just had some uh, caliper paint that I was uh, gonna use to paint my uh, calipers so it's up to 900 degrees but uh, I just had this red um, you can use any I would think you can use any uh, acrylic uh, paint so you're just gonna go ahead and you know put a couple of layers on I think you'd be okay it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be underneath the, the truck so you know, a couple layers on just to make it nice and and, uh, and thick. That way you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. So I'm gonna be doing this for a little while, and uh, I'll come back once I'm done. And you can take a look at it. When it's nice and dry, I'll come back and show you the final product. All right. So just try not to, uh, you know, put it on too thick each layer so it doesn't run. Like I said, you probably won't notice anything anyways underneath there. Uh, but you want to do it right. Okay. All right. We'll see you in a little while when I'm done with it. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I went ahead and, and painted uh, the the bar red. I don't know if you can see. Um, 
but it is red. So, <clears throat> so just put you know two or three layers on there, so that way it matches uh, my logos. You know, my logo's red, and the logos in the front are red too. So I just wanted to match that. And uh, so we're going to be installing the the uh, the bar, but first I got to take it off. Uh, there's videos online that tells you how to do it, but I'll just go through it real fast with you and what we're going to be doing. All right, let me take this and put it out of the way. All right. So what we're going to be doing is that uh, we'll be taking all the stuff off underneath here first. Okay, let me go down here real slow here. Hopefully there's enough light. To see okay so we're going to be taking the uh, end links off okay and then there is two brackets one there and one over there so we take those two little brackets off and here's the other side of the end link so I'm gonna be loosening them up and uh, installing the new one and then once I get it, once I get the bar off, I can compare the two with you and show you the difference in the two bars. Okay, let's go ahead and I will start uh, taking those uh, those bolts off. All right, I'm back everybody. Uh, before I uh, do the installation, I want to go over some of the tools that uh, you're going to need. Um, <clears throat> I think they already said it. If you watch YouTube videos, you, you'll um, see what what exactly you need, but I uh, just want to go through real quick. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, you need an eight millimeter uh, ratchet for the end link, um, the the nut. Uh, I mean, wh whatever it is, the bolt that you need to hold still. I don't have the right size for the uh, the bolt. I mean, the nut that goes uh, with the end link that that you have to unscrew. So I didn't have the right size. I think it's either a 16 or a 17 or I don't know what it was, but it, I don't have it. So I'm just gonna use a, a monkey wrench. You need a 15 millimeter socket for the bolt that, uh, that secures um, the bracket for the bar. So there's one up and down, you'll see it get there. And you're going to be using those bolts, okay? And then if you decide to use the the, uh, the bolts that they give you to uh, for the end link, if you decide to use that um, without having to use the uh, what the, uh, the, the, uh, the originals, you can use uh, these little bolts here. And that uses a 516 516 yeah so this goes inside all right I don't know if I'm gonna use that yet maybe I'll just go back to the original um, also when you use the socket for the nut for this bracket um, you have to use this uh, let's see one two Three, four, five, one, two, three, four. It's a six point, right? So it's a six point um, socket. If you use a different, the star one with a whole bunch of, a um, uh, whole bunch of, uh, I don't know what you call it, but if you use the one that has a lot of um, uh, angles, it actually doesn't fit. So I was trying to, you know, use the other one and it didn't fit. So I used a six point socket and it fit in there so just something to to keep in mind okay all right so i'm gonna go get started we'll go ahead and um just show you some of the things that you have to do and then i'll take off the rest and we'll we'll go on from there okay okay so i'm underneath here so what you need to do is use your eight millimeter and secure it there and have it on the the tight setting, okay, not the loosened one. The tight, the tight setting, okay. So, do that. 
and then you take your wrench, you know, your your right side one, since I don't have one, but I'm gonna use this. And remember, uh, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So you're going this way, so tight would be up, loose would be down, right? So I'm holding this and Okay, so I'm gonna loosen it. So I did break it um, first because it was it was kind of it was kind of uh, hard the first time. So you just have to, you know. And remember, you're turning the nut, not not this this uh, centerpiece. Okay, you're you're turning the nut to loosen it up. All right, so. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'll finish that. And then we're gonna take this and loosen up these bolts. Okay, make sure it's loose. All right, so that's all you do, okay? So I'll do that to both sides and then we'll come back, all right? Looks pretty easy to me. Yeah, just these two bolts and these here. And remember that you take this off first and then this will come down hanging and then you take these off. So that's what they tell you to do. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, I've um, loosened up both sides of here, as you can see. So I loosened both sides. Uh, you can't see this side. And then this thing comes down and hangs. Okay, and then next we're going to be taking this thing off. Alright, I'm going to be taking it off. Just like I was telling you, hold that and turn the nut only. Okay. Okay, I'm about to finish, finish uh, taking this thing all the way off. So it's going to really come out. So it took a while for you to unscrew it. So just keep holding and keep going. It's a little tough, but... Okay. So the nut comes off. Slide it out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna be doing that to the other side also. So hopefully you can see. If I have it turned right, let me see here. You should be able to see that. Okay. Let's go on this side. Do the same thing. Pull this out and then we'll compare the two. All right, a little dirty. Okay, I got the uh, the original sway bar off. Okay, so it's pretty light compared to the the Hellwig. Um, you know, people saying you can hear the difference when you're hitting it. Okay, there's an airplane behind me, so. Let it go by for a little bit. That way you have any other noises besides besides what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay. So here's the here's the um, original, and here is the new one. So it's pretty light compared to the new one. So let me let me uh, do the weight. Okay. So after I weighed. The bars, so the uh, the OEM bar weighs about six pounds, which is you know, could be uh, off a little bit. Um, so some people on the on YouTube say it was five and a half pounds, and the Hellwig bar 
is 11.4 pounds. So it's about what people are saying, 11, over 11 pounds. So, so we're looking at, uh, you know, twice as much, pretty much, right? So 5.4 to 11.4 pounds. So that's a, that's a big difference. Okay, so now um, I got that down for you. We're gonna have, we're gonna reinstall it. So let me take this bar and put it out of the way. Yeah. Try not to scratch your car while you're doing it. Okay, so uh, so what you need to do is uh, put these fittings onto here, and they gave you uh, some grease. Some grease right here, and that you can put on the inside here, and that way you can slide it uh, through the hole. All right, so we're gonna be doing that. Looks like it's not gonna be an easy task, so. I will um, try it and then we'll, we'll come back after I install it on there. Okay, so um, I just noticed that this uh, bushing here, it actually comes apart. Is a They made it so that you can open it up and put it on the bar without having too much trouble um, sliding it on. So I, I thought you had to slide it on, so I thought that was going to be pretty tough, but they actually have See, I don't know if you can see, you can see the little, it opens up, all right, and you can just snap it on here. And then I'll put the lithium grease on it. There you go, see, it goes like that. And then this thing goes on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and install it first to the uh, end links. I'll do that first, and then we will uh, come back, and then I'll I will show you uh, when I put uh, these pushings on. Okay. So you just do the opposite way you did it when you took it off. Remember we we took off the bushing first, and then let the bar come down, and then took the end links out. So now we put the end links in first, and then put the bar up. Okay. Okay, so I um, reinstall the uh, link in on both sides, just uh, not very tight right now. You see it, you can still swing back and forth. Okay, so next is uh, putting on these um, okay, these bushings here. So it's gonna go like that, all right? And I'm put a little grease on it so that it protects protects it from um, the elements you know things get inside there you don't want anything to get inside there so um, let's go ahead and take some okay and squeeze in there oh I have a rag oh, man my shirt's way over there let me get let me get this rag first That way I can clean my hands after we're done. Uh, all right. Ooh. Probably be a lot easier if you, uh, you know, had this thing on ramps like some people do, but I'm small, so I can fit underneath here pretty, pretty easily. All right. Remember, this thing has uh, an opening, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a whole bunch of stuff in here and run my fingers through it. Um, this is like a waterproof in here. It's pretty thick. It's pretty thick stuff. All right, so they say you can use marine, uh, marine grade stuff too. So, um, okay. And I'll probably put it all over in here and then outside too. That way it protects these bushings here. Okay, so we're going to do that. And I'll do it inside and I'll do it outside when I put it on. Okay. Alright, it's kind of kind of sticky too. It's, it's pretty weird stuff. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's really sticky. Alrighty. But I guess that's what it needs to, you know, to really stay on. Alright, so we'll take it. Where's it open? Right here on top. Okay, so we gotta go this way. So we just got trying to put it on here. Like I said, this thing is sticky. This gel, this uh, grease is kind of sticky. Okay. All right. Once I do that, I guess I need to put some more on. I should have just went ahead and just, you know, put the stuff on here. Okay. So put a whole bunch on on both sides. I mean, they give you a, a lot. I have to give you a whole tube, so you might as well use it. All right. Yeah, it's really sticky. Whatever this stuff is, sticky. Okay. So I think I got everything here. Yeah, maybe I should have put it on the side first, huh? Okay. Alrighty. Now that I got that. Yeah. Okay, we'll put this on. Okay. And then I'll just use the bolt now. What I was talking to you before was that you can reuse these bolts or you can use um, the ones that they gave you, which is this with like an Allen key to go inside. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just use the old ones that we have because um, they, look, they look okay. So... We'll just use that. There's no reason to to really change it. All right. All right. So and all you do here is just line it up. Okay. Wherever it needs to be. same thing on the other side and and uh, I'll show you the rest okay okay I have everything on so I went ahead and and uh, you know tighten these bolts up by hand see I can still turn them a little bit and then I uh, hooked them up to the um, the end links and now all I got to do is just uh, tighten up all the bolts and I'm done Okay, so, you know, it's, it's relatively easy. Um, if you had the truck up, you'd probably be a lot easier to do. But crawling underneath here is uh, it's a little tight, but definitely doable. You don't have to run up on the ramps. Um, okay, so I'm just going to tighten up everything. And uh, we'll take it out for a ride and see what it, it feels like. And I did um, put uh, this. Uh, there's three holes as you can see I don't know if you can see it or not but there's actually three holes right here um, I actually put it on the uh, they said that the outer hole is almost like stock the middle one is um, of course going to be a little tighter and then the the back one would be the tightest so I just want to see I want to feel the difference 
really feel a difference. If I put it on the first hole, you know, I might not know much, and I might not even, you know, feel a difference. So I want to really feel it and see that how it really reacts. And if I don't like it, I can always put it back to the middle. Okay, so, all right, so let me tighten everything up. It looks good. And then um, we'll take it for a ride. Okay, so I'm, uh, I got the tight ends tightened up. And now I'm just tightening up the, uh, the bracket. It tells you 25 to 30 uh, foot pound torque. So I just put 30 and uh, making sure I have enough torque. I go until back and forth until I hear a click. There it goes. There it goes. So that's 30 right there. Okay, so I squeezed out some uh, squeezed out some uh, some grease, but that's all right. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be doing that the same on the other side. Okay, so just tighten it up. Same thing. Uh, there was no uh, no numbers on these. I just tightened as, uh, them as much as I could and uh, hand tighten them as uh, as as hard as I could. And that's all with that. Because when I took it off, it was it was pretty tough too. So I just tighten them as much as I can. Okay, we're gonna do that to the other side. Okay everyone, um, I finished it. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. You're definitely gonna be able to see that red underneath there when I drive around. So everything's tightened up. Um, as you can see, I mean, uh, it's pretty simple setup. They said check for clearances, make sure it doesn't hit anything, but I don't see anything except for that one brake line there. Uh, so, but that's, it moves up and down, so it should be okay. It's, it's loose there. All right, so that's pretty much complete. I'm gonna take it out for a little drive. And let's see, let's see what, um, how it feels. Okay. Okay, so let me get out of the neighborhood and. If I feel any difference. All right. You know what I notice is that it doesn't. You know, uh, when you hit a bump on different, like this, you know, you, you you don't feel like you're in a boat. When you hit the bump, you you come right back to the center. Um, I noticed that already coming out of the neighborhood because I know these bumps every day that I, I hit these bumps and uh, it feels it does feel stiffer all right let me take some turns yeah it doesn't lean it doesn't lean as much, I don't think. Um, when I make that turn, it doesn't uh, really, you know, when you you coming out of your neighborhood or wherever and you take a turn, I don't feel that, yeah, that leaning. And now remember, I have this thing on the stiffest uh, hole. That way I'll notice the difference. And I think, I think that I definitely noticed the difference on how the truck is not, you know, bouncing back and forth when I hit, I'm hitting bumps. Now this road that I come out to, to go to work or anywhere, um, this long stretch of road is kind of bumpy. Um, it's a new road, but it's, it tends to, uh, bump the truck around so I want to feel that and see what it feels like okay you hear my <laughs> my deleted muffler you can really hear it when I push down on it let's see here see now here's where it's here where it's bumpy yeah it it feels 
feels like it's a little bit stiffer when I hit these bumps. And one good thing about this road is that the bumps are just, there's no pattern to them. They're just wherever the road, you know, has a hole. I don't think it's that, that much stiffer. I mean, it makes a, the truck stiffer. I think it just makes it, um, when it handles a bump, it, it hits it and then it goes away. You know, there's no bouncing around. It doesn't wobble. The truck doesn't wobble back and forth. And I, I think it hit, it, it takes the, the bumps, you know, nice and firm, but not to where it's, uh, jiggles your teeth or anything so okay let me make a turn yeah it does it I can feel that this thing does not lean as much as it did before way less way less than before so having it on the farthest hole the stiffest hole that way you can really feel the difference. No, I think it's good. So, I will uh, maybe do an update on it in a couple weeks and let you know how when I'm driving to work the, the way I take every day so I know exactly how it feels the difference and uh, I will let you guys know all right I hope you enjoy the video I think it was a nice and quick install uh, it wasn't very hard at all uh, and anybody can do it and like some people say it's it's well worth the money um, so far I, I think it is and uh, I will, you know, drive it for another week, and then I'll give you an update to to how it feels. All right. I hope you liked the video. Um, there's a couple other videos in there. Uh, I, I'm going to be doing more stuff on the truck soon. Uh, I have done some stuff, but I haven't recorded it yet. So uh, I'll have some new videos um, coming up. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Hello everyone. I'm back with the follow-up on the Hellwig uh, sway bar that uh, I bought about a week ago. Um, it's been about a week since I put it on. And remember I put it on the the third hole, the, the stiffest hole, um, to make sure that I can feel the difference um, in the sway bar. And after a week, um, I definitely can tell the difference it's uh it is stiffer on on the turns like everybody's saying uh i know on youtube some people are saying how uh it's stiffer ride and i do agree with them at some point but uh, most of the time you feel that stiffness i think is because the truck now doesn't sway back and forth like it used to so when you hit a bump on one side um it goes right back and it stays there it doesn't the, the truck doesn't wobble back and forth and I think that's why you feel like it's stiffer but if you're driving straight and you hit a bump uh, I don't think it's any difference you're not giving up any um, ride quality um, or anything like that on a straight when you're going straight it's only when you're going around curves or you're hitting bumps that would, would usually make your truck uh, bounce back and forth. I think that's what stiff, uh, being stiffness um, means, I think. It's just that when you hit those bumps, so instead of swaying back and forth, you just sway and then it comes back and it stays there. It doesn't, you know, bounce again. Um, now around turns, um, like when I go to work, I, I, it, I, have, a, I have to get onto a highway and it's not just a merge out from the road. It actually, I had to make a big loop. Um, and to make a big loop, and then I, I merge onto the, the highway. So that loop that I go 
every day um, that I notice that uh, I can actually take that turn um, a little faster and the truck doesn't lean like it, it used to. So when you go into a turn, you'll notice that the truck does not lean hardly at all. Um, and I think that's the most noticeable thing about this truck is when you turn, uh, e either you turn at a red light or a green light, um, you make a turn on a normal speed, uh, you notice that your truck just is planted, it's not leaning to one side or the other. Also, when you're hitting, um, like in my neighborhood, uh, they have little gutters that run through the street uh, on a turn. And I notice when I hit those uh, now that it would bounce and it'll come up and it'll stay there. So instead of going back and forth like this, it doesn't do that anymore. This thing is pretty stiff on that, on that point. So you just get one bounce and that's it. It doesn't, it doesn't bounce again. All right, so I think that's mostly uh, what you're going to feel it if you do um, get this bar. Uh, I think it's definitely worth the money. Um, and it makes a big difference on your ride. Uh, I think you'll be happy with it. So uh, that's my recommendation. Um, if you want a, a, a truck that doesn't you know roll back and forth when you're making turns or uh, hitting bumps, um, it'd be worth it for you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video that I did. I just wanted to do a follow-up and let everybody knows um, how how the truck rides and, and how it handles. Okay, if you have any questions, just let me know and uh, hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next time. I'll be doing more stuff on the truck. Um, I can't wait till I hit the, uh, the 36,000 miles where my warranty runs out. Um, and then I can do more stuff to it, but, uh, I only have like, I think 20,000 now. So I have a little ways to go, um, but I'm doing more, um, cosmetic on the truck and, uh, I'll show you some of the things that I've done so far. Okay. I'll see you next time.